Ready? All righty, we're out here at Quintara Farms. Um, Helen, how long have we been? How long have we been chasing BBD here? So I think we started eight years ago. Webby, do you remember when we started? Yeah, it'd be known, known so, um, so what we're doing today is we're doing pre-breeding serology. So we're going to bleed a percentage of the heifers. Um, so if you look at the Australian Cattle Vet's BBD guidelines, which kind of help develop, um, we bleed um, five percent of the of the group of heifers, or a minimum of six. It's about 150 heifers here, so we're going to bleed seven today. And what we're essentially asking them is, have you ever met a PI? PI is a persistently infected animal. That animal was exposed in utero inside its mother when she was pregnant with that calf from one to four months to produce a PI. They're the carriers for BVD. And so if these girls have never met a PI, then we know that there's no PI in the group. And how we can do that is because PIs are so good at what they do. These girls have been living together for four or five months. Um, if this first one up the race was a PI, they're mostly going to have immunity. So we're going to bleed a handful of them. If they're all antibody negative, so we've got good information that there's no PI in the group. So it stops us from having to ear notch the whole lot. Conversely, if they come back immune, uh, those will be bleed, then we know they've had exposure to PI, and then we'll ear notch them all individually to make sure that none of them are PIs. Pretty handy. So it saves us time to do it. So here in Australia, an ear notch for, for BVD testing is probably around 10 bucks. Um, the antibody test is probably around 20 bucks. So if we bleed seven of these 150 girls, um, at 20, that's an expense of $140 for the producer, roughly. And um, and if they're all antibody negative, we don't need the urinot. However, if they're all antibody negative, we want to vaccinate them. So it gives us two bits of information, two sorts of risk. One, one risk is, is this, is this animal a PI? Second risk is, does this animal have immunity to BVD? If it's got no immunity, then we want to um, we want to address that with vaccination. Especially, that one's got my pen. You can write on this tube afterwards. The way we tail bleed is we jack the tail up. I don't love. Do you want to go ahead and grab her head then? Jack the tail. Just clean the poo out of the way. Got my vacuum cleaner here. Just go on midline. Pop that under the under the needle, and then just redirect to get it enough. If you watch my index finger; it's pressed hard against her tail. So if she goes nuts and jumps up and down, I'm going to move with the heifer. So I'm holding this just for for it to show you because I've already got my blood sample. But if she goes crazy and jumps up and down, I'm going to stay with her. If we pop out, if we pop out of the uh, the tail vein with this open, we'll blow the vacuum in here. So these things have the vacuum inside. These tubes suck. They really suck. They suck blood. Thank you, gorgeous. Yeah. So that's all we need. So if she's met a PI, she'll have immunity to BBD. So it's kind of like saying, or any of you girls named Bob. Thanks, brother. We could ask them, are you Bob? Are you not sure? Are you a PI? But it's a lot easier to just ask a handful of them. Have you ever met Bob? And if they all said, nah, I never met Bob. And there's probably no Bob in the crowd. So, uh, what we do So, about seven or eight years ago, they did know Bob. So, we ear notched, we found the PIs, we got rid of them, and then we, and then we kept uh, blood testing the heifers prior to mating. And ear notching them and removing the PIs until we reached a scenario where they started coming through antibody negative. So I think we're on five or six years now of, um, of BBD freedom in these hippies. So, so we're really confident that this, this whole property is BBD free. And there's not really good biosecurity here. They're surrounded by a couple people. Everything's getting back. Is where we're up to now. Very good. These, uh, these are called vacuum cleaner needles, little double-ended needles, a little condom on the end of it. It's a very small condom. No bad jokes here. It's a rarity. <laughs> gobby, gobby. So see what I'm doing, Meg? So you're gonna jump here in a minute. Just on midline. I used to aim for the joint between the uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna go through it real slowly for you on the last one, then Meg's gonna take over. Super Meg here, she's our finding your vet student from Murdoch. So I'll bleed, I'll bleed five of these and you do the last two, okay? Yep. So each time it's a brand new needle, brand new tube. Yep. These are all um, Lawson Genetics, these ladies. Some of the best blacks in the dish. Every now and again, Todd and Webby even let me buy a couple off of them. Okay, just on midline, and then once you're in there, if you just redirect until you get the blank, the either vein or the artery. It's pretty cool if you look at these tubes. I'll show you something kind of rad. See the, see the color difference? That's venous blood, so non oxygenated. That's arterial blood. The arterial ones feel really quickly. You read, I'm sorry about that. I'll do one more, and then you're in super mad. Is no accident. Right. So, cutter tube. We don't want to pop that on first, we'll blow the vacuum. You can use a kick gate or you can walk in behind him. I just lean over the kick gate, jack that tail straight up, just get the poo out of the way. On this one? You're all right, Chuck. I'm not supposed to be down. I'm going to go this way. If you ever come in behind them, open the gate so we can get out if they pull the head out. Check the tail straight up. Let's get the poo out of the way. Midline, midline, midline. See? Pull for the one. Pop in. Redirect. Now, see my hand is. See how my index finger is pressed right up against the tail again. So she decides to go cray cray. I'm not going to do this and fall out and blow my ratchet. You're in, sister. I'm gonna grab that camera off here. iPhone, thank you, Steve Jobs. And you're gonna take over. Yeah, hey, brother. There's Super Webby. He's a hero. He's a Geelong supporter. Here's the owner of these fine cattle, Todd the Sailor. How's sailing going, brother? Sensational. Sensational. All right, yeah, so jack that tail straight up. When you go when you go right up, it kind of quiets them a bit. That's the way. There you go, Meg. On midline. Pop them in there in the spot. Once once the needle's in, then you can then you can uh, put the put the tube on, pop the tube into the in, and then just redirect until you get blood. That's the way, pop it in. That's the way, and then just kind of redirect until you get blood. Oh, okay, you've blown the vacuum. That's cool. That happens sometimes. So that's where I keep that index finger jammed up against the tail. That way when she plays up, you move with her. Got a new eat? Got a new tube? Yeah. Happy days. Cool beans. So right on midline, that's the way. And the, the vein itself, ah, oh, there you go. And again, with the assay we're running, we run this in house at Swan's Vets. So that's gonna be plenty for Lauren, but just kind of come back a little bit. On your way out, you'll probably get the blood. You're probably just a little bit deep. But yeah, and then you can kind of turn it from side to side, but that'll be enough to do the job there. Super Meg, she's a vampire. All right, come to suck your blood. Here's our last lovely lady. Oh, come on, love. Come, come on, love. Come on, love. Come on. All right. You got this. The look of intense concentration. Want to say some stuff about the bovine interest group while you're in there? This is the ex-president of the bovine interest group at Murdoch. Uh, yeah, we have a bovine interest group at Murdoch. It's great. What is Enjoy. it? Tell us about it. 
Um, it's a group for vet and animal students to learn more about cows, basically. Moo! Um, and get more experience with cows. Um, Exposure. Yeah, and you're all treated as beginners, so it's not expected that you know anything. Um, but by the time you're done, you'll know heaps. That's the plan. Heaps. And we have lots of awesome industry contacts and supporters like Enoch here who come and give us talks. Mm -hmm. Um, and workshops and just help you're us. You're probably going a little deep. So you're like burying it a bit. And so next time you go in, try to go more kind of like that sort of depth. And then up against the vase. Uh, sorry, industry context, sorry to interrupt you in your... Um, yeah, so we get lots of help from the industry. So when you when you have a when you're having an issue, you just pop it back out? Mm hmm See, I kind of moved with her when she was going cray cray. Yeah. Oh, we might have to start this one over again. We'll grab you a new one. We'll grab your fresh needle too. Cool. Sometimes these needles get a little bit of a clot in them. So these needles just untwist. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> you get really good at doing stuff one handed when you're when you're someone who has your hand most at cow's bums. Ran out of back hands. Wow. wow. All right, I'll go get one. Let's go for a walk. This is my rocket. Ford Ranger. For you. All right, buddy. So as you go in, pop in. Uh -huh. You'll hit the bottom of the, like you hit the bone yeah. of the tail, and then because the vein and artery lying superficially along the base of the tail, yeah. Eventually, so you're you're burying that needle and then backing up. Just pop in superficially. Go midline. Mm -hmm. And oops, not very good with my camera operating. I pop up, pop the syringe on. That's why, and then just redirect uh... until you get a flow of blood. Sorry to make it look easy before. Um, I've probably done somewhere in the tens of thousands of the bastards. Nope. All right, buddy. Go and pull out and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just get this last one if you take back on the camera because I'm doing a bad job running the camera anyway. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, don't get pulled on my phone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bit light. Could be that she doesn't have blood. Is it deep? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I usually start kind of down low, like you did. Mm hmm. So that I can move up. I think she is hard to get. It. <laughs> it's not just me. That's it. <laughs> He's a tough guy. You're right. I don't know. Give us some blood. There you go. A bubbling crew. Every now and again, you get one that just doesn't want to bleed. And probably we've cut like a little bit of a clot just from when we were in there before. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's slowly happening. So. There you go, goodies. There you go, love. You'll be right. Just have to make it a challenge for you. Yeah, yeah, good job. <laughs> Dynamite, so that's what we're doing. So what we're gonna do is ask these girls if you ever met a PI. If the answer is no, then we're gonna enroll them in a vaccination program. If the answer is yes, which it shouldn't be because we've got seven years of BBD Freedom here, BBD Free Farm, um, we're just confirming that that's the case. So that's my, that's my dream. Every farmer in Australia will blood test a handful of their heifers before dairy prior to mating. If they're immune, we do something about it. We are not. If they're naive, we do something about it. We vaccinate. If we do that, we could eradicate BBD fairly quickly in Australia, at least in controlled mating systems. Yeah, yeah, pretty rad. The Europeans have done it. Why can't we? Let's do it. Let's rock this joint. Cheers. Alrighty. Back at the clinic.
bloods. Howdy, Lauren. Howdy, Courtney. Lauren's our lab manager, Courtney, assistant lab manager here in the BVD lab. And here's our blood. So these are from Quinn Levins, uh, pre-bleeding. So we'll uh, run these bad boys and uh, yeah, essentially see if they've got antibodies indicating past exposure to pestivirus. Antibody positive, we'll ear notch the lot. Antibody negative, we'll vaccinate the lot. That's awesome. <laughs> um, can you shoot us some video of us running the tests? Sure. Awesome. Cheers. See you, team. Ooh, now we're running them. They're in They're in the hopper. That's the plate reader. Measures the optical density, compares the average of the negatives and the average of the means, gives us a sample to positive ratio. Ooh. So it tells us, what do you reckon, Lauren? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, negative. Let's look at the results. Cool beans, yep, they're all negative. Happy days, beauty, beauty. Cool beans, we'll call the Quinlivans and tell them to vaccinate. No need to ear notch, wahoo. Okay. That's what we do here. Check out this, it's pretty cool. These are all the vet clinics in Australia that send us ear notches and blood samples. There's a ton of vet clinics down in this neck of the woods. Out here, not too many vet clinics. Mm -hmm. There's WA, not many cows there. Rad. Good job, team.